In this video, I want to show you how to make a simple calculation in your access report or in your access form. By the way, the exact same technique works on a form, uh, even though we're doing it on a report right now. So here we have a simple report with a customer ID and the order ID and the order amount. I would like to add the sales tax over here. So we'll go back to design view. And what you want to do is, uh, by the way, you can add a calculated field to any of these sections on the report. Um, but the way you do it is you're going to pick up this AB up here on the design menu. And when you move your master, there's this text box. So I'll click there. And then in this case, I'm going to move it into the details section. So I'm going to put it right next to the order amount and click there. Now, uh, it says unbound there. So pretty soon we'll put the formula right there. Uh, now, if you look really, really closely, you'll see that to the left of that, you have the, uh, the field label. Well, I don't need that right now. So I'm going to click there and then delete that. Okay. And I want to make sure that this is aligned with the other field. So uh, we have that now. Now, I want to get the property sheet up for that field. If the property sheet isn't already open, what you want to do is you want to click on that field and then come up to the design menu and pick where it says property sheet right there. And that'll open up this other window. So in this case, I'm gonna pick on the data tab and your formula always goes into the data tab on the control source property. So you pick on control source and you pick on the three dots to the right of that. And that's gonna open up a very powerful part about access, which is called the expression builder. So here's where you put your formula, and the formula could be any kind of mathematical formula. It could be very complicated as well. Uh, so I'm going to double click on the order amount field in the expression builder. Notice that a field shows up in the formula, and that's really why it's called the expression builder. Uh, I'm going to say times 0 0.07. I live in Pennsylvania here in the United States, and the sales tax is uh, 7%. Uh, so I'll click on OK. But this formula could have been anything, really. I'll click on OK, though. And now notice how the control source has that formula. Now you probably want to format that field. Uh, so I'll pick on format within the property sheet. And the first property does say format. And I'll make that a currency type of field. And I might as well right justify that as well. So if you notice uh, here, we'll pick on the home menu. And I'll make, I'll make it uh, right justified like you would in Word or PowerPoint. Uh, so now let's take a look at that. I'm going to right click in the tab and then pick on print preview. So notice how we have the order amount and now we have the sales tax over here. Uh, now one additional step I might take would be to give that field a name on the column heading and also maybe to make it a subtotal as well. So I'll right click in that field and then do uh, design view. To give that field a title up there, uh, there's a couple ways I can do that. I'll just make it uh, an AB up here, uh, an AAME, or just call a label. I'll click there. I'll click right about here on the page header section, right above that field. And then I'll just type in sales tax. No problem with that at all. Any, anytime you want to add text to your report or your form, you add a label like that. However, when you wanted to add a calculated field like we did, you add a, a text box. And then that allows you to put that formula in there like we did. Uh, in fact, let's do it again so we can get the subtotal. So I'll pick on the AB. Come over here. This time it's going to be in the customer ID footer section because we have, we're have we going to have a subtotal. And then I'll click there. Now again, look for that little label to the left of that. In this case, I'm not going to need that. So I'll click there and then delete that. And I'm just aligning that field. I'm going to go back to the property sheet. So again, if the property sheet isn't open already, then you click in the word property sheet up here under the design menu. I'm going to pick in the data tab. We'll pick on control source and we'll go to the three dots, which brings up the expression builder window. Now in this case, I'll put the word sum and then do that same exact formula. So I'll say some order amount times 0 0.07. So when I say sum here, it's going to add them all up for that same uh, customer ID because that's that's our grouping field. So you put the same exact formula within the sum there. Uh, I'll click on OK. Uh, and that shows up in the control source. I'm going to pick on format. And then I'll change the format to be currency. And we're looking good there. So the real point here is um, if I wanted to add a label or some text to my report, I use the AA. 
However, when you want to use, when you want to add a field, a calculated field, you pick on the A B. You can move that field anywhere into your section, uh, into your report. I mean, with any section. Uh, then once that field is there, you go to the property sheet for that field. You pick in the data tab. You go to the control source. In the control source, you pick in the three dots, and that's where you can put your formula, which could be anything. And that is how you add a calculated field to either a form or a report in Microsoft Access. Let's take a look at it. Now you see how we have the, the individual uh, sales tax for each uh, line item, and then we have the total for the uh, customer as well. And that occurred all the way throughout the year report.